Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a fresh look at Advanced System Care version 10. It is designed to, as you can see, I almost feel like I'm cheating, speed up, protect, clean and optimize, has a toolbox, action center. It will give you IOBit uninstaller. I swear by that, so just as a quick sidebar. Uh, I use this to uninstall my apps because Windows is very inefficient at how it works, so you can batch uninstall programs with it. I don't want to get into it too far, but if you see it over here and think I'm going to delete it, don't. It's uh, I've sworn by it for years. So once you get started up, as you can see, their goal here, because there's so much that you can do in here, is to make it simple for you. So all you got to do is hit scan, and then you can just pretty much set it or forget it. So if you're somebody who was told, oh, get this disk defragmenter, get this drive cleaner, get this registry cleaner, get this wrist, who's got time for that? But if you're a geek, you can go a lot farther in, put this on a customer's machine, and you can always manage stuff with it from spyware removal to tweaking your system to appearance to defragmentation. Anyway, it's going to have up here, you can clean your RAM, but you notice it's going to have show details. So this is just a monitor for your system. Scan, clean, resource manager, screenshots, uh, power it down. But, so let's get this out of the way real quick. If you don't want it there, go into the settings, which is something I always recommend in most of my videos that you skim the settings you can click on right here enable performance monitor apply and that won't be there anymore that's up to you you have your real-time protection watch for the stuff that's pro that means you need to buy it although for what they offer it's pretty cheap browser anti-tracking again we're into pro clean and optimize this is uh, somewhere you want to look into because the clean and optimize section and the automatic services for example you got a few settings in here you might want to consider some stuff you don't want to play around with when you can for example I don't know maybe you want to I, this only has a C drive but you may want to check or uncheck a second drive when it does it run when the fragments exceed three percent I like five but I like it let's take a look at the automatic service so this is kind of nice do not care for again you got to buy it for this but the neat thing about this is for the whatever they charge you for 20 30 bucks you can set a schedule so that it does all the spyware removal registry cleaning shortcut fix privacy switch blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can get all of this done with a timer so you can set it up for weekly and the auto clean and the auto update again they've got a few things in there for pro it's a very complete program but it, they obviously aren't in the business for free so all you have to do is click on scan and once this is all done, all you got to do is sit back and wait for it to do everything for it. Simple as that. You know, what do they say? Uh, forget about it. That's it. That's what you're looking to do. So if you're that guy or gal and you just want to get your computer running right, this is it. So we're going to wait. It's going to go through. As you can see, it's going to check your startup items. It's going to check for privacy issues, which I'll have to look. is probably cookies and different stuff like that. Junk files, shortcut errors, registry errors, and spyware threats. So as you can see, it's moving along pretty fast. Found a shortcut error. I think I know what that is. And registry errors. We'll see how many that comes up with. And spyware threats. So as you can see, you're just sitting back and waiting for it. So I'm going to click the pause real quick, and we'll be back in a second when it's done scanning. All right. So we finished um, scanning. I don't know if you noticed or not when I was scanning, but it did have a little checkbox here to automatically fix errors if you want to speed that up. So. You can look through and see what it found. As you can see, we've got Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, a couple things here. Junk files, it's a fairly clean system, so that's pretty accurate. A shortcut error, hmm. don't remember that one. Registry errors, as you can see, pretty conservative at 93. I've seen some of these programs come up with hundreds and thousands, which always scares me, so 93 is cool. So hit fix, kick back, and once again, once this is finished, you can just close it, minimize it, and you can open it as you need it, maybe once a week to do this kind of cleaning so everything's done. There's the automatically fix. And you can automatically fix, shut down, restart, hibernate, blah, blah, blah. So there you go. So here and there you'll find stuff like protect now. That's to get you to buy it, activate now, or finish. So, And there you go. So if you're just looking to optimize your PC and, and not set it and forget it, don't forget to select all, then there you go so if that's all you're looking for we're almost up to five minutes you're free to go if you want to go a little bit farther you can look and see in the other things here the app toolbar cleaner if you click that it will download basically like a plug-in built into the program deep optimization 
So that goes beyond the basic cleaning. If you're not sure, it gives you the details of what it's going to do, optimizing your boot sector. A lot of little tweaks in here. So again, if you're, I, I like it more for the tech or people who know what they're doing, so you can mess around with it. So the hardware acceleration, outdated drivers, that's probably their driver booster program. And turbo boost, slow down all your apps and services to release RAM, boost your PC. So basically you're looking at almost like a gaming tweak. So you do that and your games can run better. Protection, pretty neat stuff here. You don't see in a lot of other competition. Face ID, uh, I know a lot of us use black tape. Um, Real-time protector, that's a pro feature. Home page protection, browser anti-tracking, that's a pro feature. Surfing protection and ad removal, boo. And Win 10 reinforce, which is to avoid known problems before they happen. The toolbox, once again, you can kind of check you have new because it installed it driver booster i use that too smart defrag malware fighter as you can see you've got hot so they say and pro features my win 10 let's take a quick look at it so we can get out of this video we're over six minutes as you can see the my win 10 lets you tweak everything start menu eight you'd have to get it that you want within windows 10 to tweak it and optimize it to work a little bit better so there you go. Repairing Cortana, repairing start menu. As you can see, that's why I made sure you knew about this because this is where you're going to be. A little smiley face. Action Center. Once again, these are more or less links to some of their other programs, including their password manager, game optimizer, spyware protection, and more. And that pretty much covers it a lot longer than I wanted to be as usual lately. But again, it's start here. Select them all. Uncheck. If you don't want to play with your registry, you can always just select all and then do that it's kind of a neat way to do it so and there you go there is advanced system care 10 as quickly as i could do it which is apparently seven minutes and thank you for watching take a second to subscribe if somehow you made it through seven minutes and i hope we see you next time